25 secrets that you didn't know about in Retro Bowl. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm hungry. I got the rice cooker rolling right now. My whole room smells like rice. Matter of fact, put a rice cam up. But before I get to dinner, I wanted to uncover 25 secrets that you guys have never heard of in Retro Bowl. When I made this list, some of this information shocked me, all right? Oh, wait till y'all see this last one. This last one is crazy. Let's get right into it. Somebody has won Rookie of the Year twice on this game. This is like the Retro Bowl version of Ben Simmons. I don't know what's going on here. How did this happen? Let's investigate. He's played 20 games, but in his career, he's played 100. How did he win two Rookie of the Years? Hayden Rose. The guy who posted the screenshot said he had no clue how this was done. I just so happened to see it while pursuing player stats. Maybe it was COVID year. Game two Rookie of the Years. I don't know how that happened. That's how we're starting off. Now, I don't know if a lot of you guys know this next one. This might help y'all a lot. I know some of y'all got fat ass fingers. Y'all be deleting the app by accident. You know what I mean? But if you just tap the Retro Bowl logo here at the top, you can restore save data. I don't know how many taps that was. I think it was four taps. But you can actually restore your data in case, you know, you did something stupid, messed something up, you know what I mean? And you got rid of your save somehow. So yeah, just go into this screen. One, two, three, four, four. Four taps. That's all it takes. And then you go have this. You know what I'm saying? I got Team Asia here. I can restore Team Asia. These next two could make the Hall of Fame for anti-grass touching. This might be up there. Postal Mahomes completes 260 passes in a game. This guy had completed 260 passes in a game. 260 passes. The craziest thing about this is it's not the fact that he completed 260. He attempted 264. I, I, I don't even know how you do this. You have to swipe literally so fast and somebody has to be so butt-ass naked wide open every time. 264 attempts? That's insane. But that's not even it. That's the third secret. All right, the fourth secret, this guy completed 238 receptions. Was the quarterback against Baltimore too? Yep, he was playing against Baltimore too. All right, I was about to say, if it was different games, then this guy would need some oxygen. This guy would need some sort of female touch. All right, 238 receptions. So you're telling me in this particular game against Baltimore right here. Postal Mahomes spammed 238 passes to Samus Sanu. One guy. But that's not even the most anti-grass thing that's in this video, all right? But the fifth secret I have for you guys on Retro is the best record you can get in year one. You know how when you start your game, they ask you if you want to play the tutorial, you know, all that BS, the training stuff, you know, they walk you through the menus. If you skip the tutorial though, you get hopped into week 18. So you start out playing one game, but usually your team record's like 4 and 13. You're like the Browns, you know what I mean? The Patriots. It's like you're just ass, but this guy, he gets the bills and he starts out 16 and one. This guy inherited a 15 and one team. This guy's like Steve Kerr inheriting the Warriors. All right, what the, like, how does this possibly he only put up 13 points on the Jets? So this guy might be ass at Retro Bowl too. They, they basically just bless somebody ass. That's absolutely nuts, man. But this next one right here, this might hit some of y'all's nerves. All right, I'm about to break some bad news for you guys. I apologize. This is emotional for me to say because, you know, this really breaks my heart too. But Retro Bowl has announced that they will never have a playable defense on their app and this information is updated as of september 27th 2024 god cnn nbc y'all want to hire me or what that sounded like a newscaster oh my goodness i am nuts at this this is why i'm this is why i'm good Did my rice just finished y'all hear that hold on hold on let me go check on the rice real quick yeah yeah oh snap i put way too much water anyways i have this tweet from april 10th we never plan to have a playable defense that plan has not changed smiley face Smiley face. But a lot of people have been debating about, you know, why the reason? Why won't you put a playable defense on the game, Retro Bowl? This person, Dominic Diamond. I did some deep research here. He did a article on The Guardian reviewing Retro Bowl, all right? This guy was yapping about Retro Bowl. This is pretty much like one of my video scripts. Yeah, using big words like redundant. This guy is nice at writing, all right? But I skimmed through his writing down here to find the important information right here. Retro Bowl takes it one glorious step further by just simulating defense. This is a genius move. Nobody enjoys playing defense on NFL games. Oh great, I've been intercepted. Now I get to play defense, said no one playing Madden ever. <laughs> Just speaking from a personal standpoint, I actually thoroughly enjoy playing defense on Madden, all right? When me and the boys were playing my squads, if you guys are OGs on the channel, y'all remember these videos. I was having a blast, man. And pretty much Retro Bowl co-signed that by saying somebody who gets the whole reason why we don't have a playable defense. This was on September 27, 2024. This was like two months ago. So yeah, I don't think we'll be seeing playable defense in the near future, all right? But at least my rice is cooked. The next secret we have in this video, this one actually is embarrassing. This guy broke the record for most inner interceptions in a season and in his career this guy threw 578 interceptions in a season I, I like i don't even know what to say about like this is just i don't even know if this is good or bad because he broke a record but he threw 578 picks in a year 578 what is that divided by 18 let me do some quick math right here that's like 32 oh my god did i get that on money hold on we gotta check 578 divided by eight if it's 32 if it's close to 32 <laughs> 
Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! Mom! Mom, you see that? That's cool, Mom. That's all the math bugs you had me doing. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god. I genuinely did not prepare that. That was insane. 32 games in his career, 1,118 picks. This guy broke the record for most picks thrown in a career in just 32 games. This is like Jameis. These next two secrets piss me off, all right? This guy went 12 and 4 and didn't make the playoffs. He didn't make it. Not only did he not make it, Denver, who was at 12 and 4, also didn't make it. And then you got the NFC over here with not a single team that's better than 12 and 4. It's actually nuts, man. They had four. 12 and 4 teams, 1 12 3 and 1 team, and 1 13 and 0 team, New England in the playoffs. That is so unlucky, man. Even Baltimore, who went 10 and 6, didn't make the playoffs, too. That's the most stacked conference I've ever seen on this game. That is a record, man. 12 and 4, you might not make the playoffs. So Y'all gotta get 13 to 3 every year. This one's even worse. This one tops it. 4 and 13 team making the playoffs and winning the record. How is. I, I, I couldn't believe this. This guy went 4 and 13. First of all, if you're going 4 and 13, you need to get off the game. You, you need to go. This game's not for you. The, matter of fact, you need to stop watching football. It's not for you. Mow the lawn or something. I don't know. Try something new. Try a different hobby. This game's not for you. 4 and 13, it's not for you. But how in the world was the NFC West so bad in year two on this save right here? I don't even know how that's possible. Rams, Niners, Cardinals all go 3 and 14. But that's not as crazy as the last secret in this video, all right? But let's keep it moving here, man. The next secret we have, Retrable is out on the Nintendo Switch. Now, a lot of you guys may know this. It was released on February 10th, all right, in honor of Tech Mobile, which was released originally on the NES system. You know what I'm saying? They honored them by releasing it on the Switch. And with this Switch release, they added the kick return, right? This is the first time the kick return was added. February 10th, 2022. Now, the secret with this is that originally when kickoff returns first came out, you weren't allowed to select a kick returner. And so the first ever kick return touchdown was done by this guy. I don't know. He, he looks really handsome. He looks like a great YouTuber, matter of fact. But yeah, there, there, there's him grinding on the Switch. And this guy right here, J Jeff Jeffy Zahai, on March 11th, 2022, he recorded the first ever kick return touchdown on retro now this must have been extremely hard for him at the time because like i said earlier guys you know you can't select a kick returner so you can't select the guy with max speed it has to be a no name so i could imagine how hard this challenge was for him you know what i mean oh oh was this it no that that wasn't it oh yeah see if i were him i would be frustrated too oh i think it's right here oh, oh he's got a song too oh his song's kind of good wait what is what is this song hey 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 go 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 Run! Run! Go, run! Go, run. Go, run. One more hey! 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 hey. Look at this! Oh my god, he's so good at this game! Oh my goodness! Oh my god, he's so handsome too! Oh look at oh yeah! Yeah! Yeah, nice jersey! Yeah! Yeah, no, this, I, I don't know who this guy is, but this guy's good. He makes great content, man. And, and this guy was the first ever person to get a kick return touchdown on Retro Bowl. This next one here absolutely makes no sense. October 19th, 2022. Somehow, someway, this person right here got a 101.3 passing average. The, like, what? 304 yards, three completions, okay? Very efficient. How in the hell do you get 101.3 yards? How do you get more than 100 yards on a passing attempt? This guy was throwing like from the stands, from outside the stadium. I don't know how he did this. His longest pass in the game was 85 yards. So that, that, that doesn't even make any sense. Wait a minute, I just did the math. Now this next secret right here, I'm sure you guys have done better than this. Cause I know some of you guys, man, you got Cheeto crumbs on your stomach. You know what I mean? You've been playing Reg Bowl all day. I'm sure some of you guys have beat this. This was three years ago. But this guy put up the highest point differential against extreme difficulty in Reg Bowl history all right 91 points in week 16 this guy had a plus 91 point differential now i'm sure i can beat this i'm sure this guy was actually me i actually uploaded this photo yeah this was me guys just want to throw this in the video to let you guys know that i'm nice in this game all right i'm hiding it from you guys that's a big secret this might be the biggest secret of the video you know what i'm saying the fact that i'm just absolutely nuts on this game this next secret is something that i'm not sure a lot of you guys know all right the main dev for retrable has changed from simon to chris this change was made around december 1st 2023 simon was the guy. He's the guy who created the game. You know what I mean? He's like the Steve Jobs of Retro Bowl. That was my guy, man. He put my name in the game, man. He helped me make a lot of changes. And it's changed to Chris, who's also my guy. This change happened around December 1st, 2023. Simon's just exploring some other game ideas at the moment. Shout out to Simon and Chris, man. Two legends. Now, speaking of the creation of the game, the next secret is that Retro Bowl first promote on January 16, 2020. Now, I started playing the game in March 2020, so I was a couple months late, but when the game first came out, why is this video in like 480p? 
Oh, that's how long ago it's been, man. This video came out in 1972, matter of fact. Now, a couple things to note about this is when the game first came out, there were only three save slots available. Now, also, another thing that was different is, as you can see, the CC icon was actually silver when it first came out. Now, it's kind of a gold-yellow color. So, yeah, that's another secret for you guys if you guys didn't know. Next one right here, we have the highest point differential in a season. He had a plus 1593 point differential in one year. Yeah, that's grass. That is grass behavior right there. This currently seems to be the record. This is on year 22, week 31. Yeah, no, this is this is grass. The background is literally telling you to touch grass, man. It is literally green for that reason. Plus 1593. One of you guys is going to beat this. I already know. Matter of fact, probably one of you guys has already beaten this. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Matter of fact, this is probably one of you guys. That, that, that's the matter of the fact. This next one right here makes absolutely no sense, all right? This had to be a glitch or something, but the longest pass in air was 116 yards. This had to be a glitch. This happened four years ago. That's the longest pass in air yards in retrable history right there. 116. I don't know who's going to beat that. We're getting towards the end here. We're almost there at the craziest secret. But this next one, there's a lot of information that needs to be deciphered. We have a full video, all right? This is the most ever XP gained in one game. This guy gained 2,215 XP by his old lineman. Now, there's a lot of questions that need to be asked, all right? First of all, how did he get 192 blocks in one game? Second of all, why are all of his offensive players XP stats absolutely bloated. I don't know how this is possible. He must have an experienced head coach or something. Let's watch this video. Let, I want to see how this bar moves. Yeah, he's got XP level 55. This is also a grass participant. He needs grass. He needs human touch. He needs air. He needs water. He needs he needs the outdoors. He needs sun. This guy needs everything. All right, look at how slow this is moving. I can't believe I'm watching this. Why am I watching this? Holy crap. It's still filling up, man. I've been here. Man, my rice is overcooking at this. He got his old lineman up to level 56. Yeah, that's just something that you shouldn't be proud of, but that's the craziest gain I've ever seen in my life. That's another secret for you guys right there. Next secret is a new mode on Retrobo, all right? QB mode was actually tested and figured out by this guy right here, man. This guy, this guy's killing it. 133,000 subscribers. Yeah, this guy, this guy's elite, man. Look at this. Look so at this. I don't have confirmation on this, but I believe New Star was testing a QB mode sometime around 2022, 2023. And this buzz started generating a lot of hype. A lot of people in the community were very, very excited back then. And so here it is, man. QB QB mode. It's got a different shade of blue. All right. My QB was half Zai. I mean, this guy's QB was half Zai. You can see the menu here, man. This is pretty interesting. They had conditioning. They had a life tab. There's a lot that went to this, man. They had a news tab right here after the game. And pretty much you could go shopping in the life tab. You could buy cars. You can buy energy drinks. Could do a lot. It was very, very detailed. I'm surprised they haven't touched base back on this, but this would be an insane mode if they actually dropped this. But yeah, this was once T as something that could be coming to Red Bull. Hopefully it comes in the future. QB mode. This next one is more anti-grass activity, all right? This is the record for the most field goals attempted in a career, 2,414. I want you guys to think about how crazy that is. This guy sat there and kicked 2,414 field goals. He sat... Like, think about that one more time. First of all, played 347 games. That in itself is very impressive, all right? That is special. We'll, we'll keep it that way. It's special. And then this guy attempted 2,414 field goals. I'm not. I'm just going to keep it moving, partly because I can't believe that. I'm also hungry. I want to eat that rice that's cooked. You know what I mean? The smell is nuts. I'm not sure a lot of you guys know this next one, but there's only 16 dilemmas on Retrable. There's a list of all the dilemmas right here. I think the stupidest one has to be this one, where the player receives a fine for making physical contact with an official like what and you could either spend cc or decrease player morale that's just a terrible dilemma my favorite one is playing retrable that one's awesome because you you just increase the player's morale you just get happy or when you suck the board's cup crazy thing i just learned about these dilemmas is some of these dilemmas only appear if you have one or more toxic players on your team so the less toxic your team is the, the less of a chance you'll get one of these dilemmas which you know i just learned it's a new secret new fun fact all right we have a couple more here this one is similar to the quarterback average Average yards one, but this guy had a 107 completion percent. This guy completed more passes than attempts. I, I, like, I, 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 How did he do that? Let me see. I had a pass completion that got fumbled at the goal line and was recovered in the end zone for a touchdown. Maybe Reginald counted that as a pass completion to the other team or something. I don't know. But that's insane. 107 percent. Like you're you're never gonna see that. They probably patched that. I mean, try to uncover some of these secrets for yourselves at home if you have time. But probably could never do that again. 
we're getting towards the end here. I'm so excited to show you guys this last secret I have for you guys, man. But 34 tackles by a DB in the game. That's the most ever by a DB. Juki McFluky. Honestly, if you guys sim on three minutes, you guys can probably break this record. 34 tackles for a DB, though. That's pretty unheard of. This next secret, this is, I'm calling this the Jerry Rice. All right, partly because I'm hungry. I need some rice in my system. But Keelan Jeffrey, we have the same name. He's got the most receiving yards in a career on Retro Bowl. All right, 125,760 yards. What is this guy doing? Why is he inside so much? Why is he indoors? Why is he under a roof so often? Absolutely nuts. And he only did it in 284 games. I'm saying only like 284 games isn't a lot of games. But Keelan Jeffrey, this guy's the GOAT wide receiver on Retro Bowl other than B Hall. Y'all know. This is the second last one right here. And if you guys didn't know, you could link your controller to your Retro Bowl mobile device. So whatever device you play on, whether it's Android or Apple, you can actually link your controller. And look, you can run backwards with your running back, with your receiver, even with your quarterback. I want to see if this guy actually does it right here. Oh, no. He's just... Oh, he's just nice. He's just insane. Wow, what a pass. You can even pass the ball backwards uh, like I'm about to demonstrate right there. Yeah, you can pass it backwards. I don't know what the hell that pass was. But, but yeah, you can run backwards with the controller on your device or you can do it on the Switch too. You guys have the Switch version. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys don't know that. And the final one, the 25th secret in this video. We're finally at the end. I'm about to eat dinner. I'm excited. I'm showing you guys the best retro player to ever play on this game. All right, Tom Brady. When I saw this, I actually I, my mouth just opened. My jaw was dropped to the floor. 275,000 passing yards. What is this guy doing? What is he doing? What is wrong with this guy? Why is he spending so much time on this phone? This is the greatest player to ever play vegetable, so kudos to him. But, like, this is so high that I wouldn't even try to chase this record. 55 rings, 49 MVPs. Tom Brady, and that's not even the craziest part. The craziest part is that he's age 79. He's a natural age 79. This guy extended his retirement all the way to 79. Actually nuts, man. This is the craziest thing I think I've seen on Retrable in my life. The combination of his age and his stats, that's the best card. That's the best player to ever play on Retrable. All right? Those are the 25 secrets that you didn't know about Retrable. Comment down below which record you're going to break, and I'm about to go eat some dinner. I'm hungry. I'll see you guys in the next video.